guys and welcome back to let's play the legend of zelda ocarina of time 3 hard run i am game bubbly gamer and today we are going to be talking to zelda after making our way here in venturing through the castle and being all sneaky because we're so sneaky so now we're gonna go talk to her and see what it is that she wants us to do since the owl told us to come here deku tree told us to come here so we're gonna go meet this princess of destiny Hello. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? With my sneaky ninja skills. Oh, what's that? Is that? A fairy? Then are you? Are you from the forest? Just I am. Then, then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Ah, uh, yes. Do you have it? Yeah, it's in my butt somewhere. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storms, cloud, blah. Dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out from the shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a, this is a prophecy that someone would come up from, that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story, and I didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Ma'am, I have a fantastic name. You will love it. But... <laughs> Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Yes, we all have one, you know? Well, one. Okay then, Butts. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Oh, yay, story time. Please keep this a secret from everyone, okay? Okay. The legend goes like this. The three goddesses hit the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wishes of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Q game title. Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yep, we're very smart kids. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Sure, why not? It can't be that bad, can it? Oh my god, he's in my dreams too! Oh god, can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. 
the dark clouds that cover Hyrule in my dream. They must symbolize that man. Everybody's in my dreams. Zelda, him, everybody. What happened? Did he see you? Yeah, I got scared. Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have so he must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Yeah, it's pretty big actually. But now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. I don't believe you. Okay, I believe you. Thank you. I I am afraid. I have to f I have a feeling that that man is going to destroy Hyrule. Oh. Yes. He must he has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. Yay! Kick him, kick him in the butt. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. <gasps> you received Zelda's letter. Wow! This letter has Princess Zelda's autograph. Nice! Now we can show it to anybody that we are her friend. That's it. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. Oh, what attendant? Where? Oh. Oh, do you even see her there? Oh, he's gone. I wonder if there's a way to like glitch in there and maybe see like who the... Who Zelda's father is? Because we never get to see him in the game, so I don't know. Anyways, let's just get our booties out of here. Hello, ma'am. How are you? You're very beautiful. Please get me out of here. I am Impa of the Sheikas. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out, you are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. It's like a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Memorize this song. This song is a staple in any Zelda game. There we go. You play Zelda's lullaby. Yay, more shining. You've learned Zelda's lullaby. Yay. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Okay, glitch to everything, why don't you? You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain, that is De Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold a spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up to Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are, learned, are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. 
The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones, all right? We're counting on you. Oh, gee, thanks. You're counting on an eight-year-old boy to do everything for you. That's great. That's just fantastic. I don't even know if Link, if Butts is eight or not. I think he's like, what? Isn't he like seven? I don't even know. He might be eight, honestly. I don't know. He's so short. I can't tell. Okay, so we're going to go to Long Long Ranch really quick because if we play Talon's game, we can get a bottle. And you guys know we will need bottles so we can hold fairies, um, blue potions, um, red potions, milk, so that we don't die a horrible death somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> oh, we can talk to Malin. Of course, of course. We gotta talk to her. Okie dokie. Let's break some pots because I need. Oh. The guys don't have nuts. That's kind of messed up. That's fine. Hello, sir. Please let me play your game. No, 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 no. Huh? I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took me, it took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. So what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cockos I have here are special super cockos. I'm going to throw these cockos into the, their gaggle of normal cockos. If you can pick up well, these three special birds from the manga cuckoo, well, well, okay. Yes, that's fine. I really well, don't want to listen to this anymore, so like, whatever, sure. You have 30 seconds. Alrighty then, get ready. Here go the super cuckoo. Start looking! Oh, let me see. Oh, I think this is one. Aha! Uh, are you the other one? Are you the other one? Nice. Alrighty. One more. Um, it should be over here somewhere. Hello? Nope. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, yay! Golly, I'll be darned. It's plum incredible. That's the last one. You find them all. Come over here. Yay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> you just gotta make sure you see where they land. It's not bad. Hey you, you got some talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. How you like to marry Malin, huh? You. Ha ha, I was just kidding, just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? Warr. Oh, I'm proud to present to you a sample of our very own long, long milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. Yay, we got our first bottle! And we have some milk. <laughs> so that way we won't die. Anyways, thank you, sir. I'll be sure to use that. Um... Dang, these neighbors are loud. I'm doing something over here. Could you please not be so loud over there. Jesus. No respect around here. I, t I tell you. No respect. Anyways, now we have a bottle. So we can definitely utilize that to our advantage. So that we don't die a horrible death. <laughs> Cause you have seen that I'm not very good at um, dodging stuff. I literally almost died the last... Was it last episode? Yes, it was last episode. I almost died to a freaking Skulltula. Like what the heck? Who does that? Who almost dies to that? Anyways. Let's talk to Melon. Where is my ocarina? Oh, here it is. Um, I'll put you over here. Okay, that's good. Hello, little lady. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? He he he. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. He he he. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Uh, wait, come back, horse. Horsey. Horse! Oh, she don't like me. Maybe I smell like fairies or something. It seems like Epona's afraid of you, fairy boy. Well, can you can you help me with the song? Can you play us? Can I? Can you teach me a song? 
Oh, maybe I have to talk to her again. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. <gasps> yes. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play this song with that ocarina? Yes. Another song we can utilize. Coolie. Well, not really. We can't use it yet, but if we play the song near a cow, it will give us um, milk. Ooh, shiny, shiny again. You learn Epona song. Cool. I will get out of here. Don't want to talk to you. You talk too much. Seriously. It's like an old man just starts talking to you and never stops. Oh, the horsey likes me. Hello, horsey. Love me forever and ever. Love me. Love me. Love me. Oh, okay. Bye, horsey. We'll meet again someday. Just not right now or today. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're done scooting over here. We're not going to that shed over there because there's a um, piece of heart there. And we don't need that. <laughs> well, we kind of need it, but we are not doing it this round. <laughs> We're going to be skipping all of that. So let me see. I'm not sure if now I should go back to the forest or if I should just go to Kakariko Village. How many skulls do I have? Oh, uh, let me see. Six. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, uh, maybe I'll go to Kakariko Village. I'm trying to think. Oh, I can do some stuff there. Okay, and it's getting night, so that's good. Okay, it's taking it's taking too long. Okay, so Will is gonna go to Kakariko because we can get. Oh, but it's night. Oh, huh. it's not gonna work very well at night time. But that's fine. At least we can visit. Grandpa, <laughs> we can visit Dompe. Okay, are we close? People next door, please stop slamming your damn doors at me. It's loud and it's very frightening. I don't know if it's frightening. Kakarika Village. Alrighty. Okay, I guess it's fine that we're here at night. I don't. Huh, is it fine? I don't know actually. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. Ah, no, no, oops. My buttons. Oh, I swear. I don't know which button does anything at this point. Oh, I swear. My neighbors are so annoying sometimes. Like, I understand that you're leaving in a rush, but you should have timed yourself better and you could have left at an earlier time. Instead of being so loud and like causing a ruckus that you'll wake everybody up. So, I mean, I don't think it. <clears throat> Do you hear that? Oh my god. I don't know if it's picking it up on my microphone or not, but they're being so loud. <laughs> like, I'm getting so annoyed. It's like, dude. Like, I understand, but calm down, man. <sighs> I don't know. One time we had this other neighbor. She was like this lady, and every night for some reason she would just scream. Like, I don't know if she was, like, drunk or, like, she was just crazy and she would literally scream the whole night and it would keep us up. It was literally the most annoying thing that has ever happened. <laughs> I don't think I've ever lived with someone that, or lived next to someone that was as loud as these people have been. For some reason, we're very unlucky when it comes to um our neighbors. They're just so freaking loud. It's like, shush. It's like, shush. Like, I understand if you have issues or something, but come on, man. You have to be at least somewhat knowledgeable that you're being annoying to other people. And you're causing a ruckus, you know? I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with, like, noisy neighbors, but... Oh my god. Like, one of my pet peeves is, like, noise. Like, if someone makes so much noise, like, if they're just so loud, like, when they speak, even though I'm standing right next to them... It just bothers me. It's like, oh my god, I have no interest in what you're saying. You're literally like yelling at me. I don't know. And maybe I just have a thing with noise where 
any weird noises just kind of bother me a little bit. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's my little rant about that. So if you guys have ever had like, um, annoying like neighbors or like noisy neighbors, let me know in the comments if you have because... I don't know. I don't know if I'm the only one that's ever that's ever had noisy neighbors. I don't think so. I feel like a lot of people would have it. And you know what's crazy? We also have other neighbors that live down be downstairs behind us. And if for some reason we make like the slightest like of little noise because we have hardwood floors, they would literally come to our our to our like um door and be like, "Hey, stop making so much noise. We can hear you all the way down there." I'm like, "Lady, we are literally just walking. What do you want us to do? Like, Jesus. It's like every little thing. Uh, what? It's like literally every little thing just bothers her. Like, shut up, lady. You're the one that keeps being annoying and smoking all the time. You should go away. Telling us to shush. You want us not to walk in our own freaking house? Sorry, just... Sorry, it just bothers me. No, I'm just... Just talking. Alright, anyways. <laughs> back to the game. So we open that grave and that gives us a free shield that we're gonna need. Because you can buy it at the... At the grave... At the grave. No, not at the grave. You can buy it from the bazaar at the, um... Uh... The castle but it costs like 80 rupees and I'm not trying to get to all that what where where's the thing oh here it is see because of this emulator I can't see I can't see the patch I couldn't even see the symbol I had to like get closer to it oh well oh I'm not I don't know if I'm gonna switch I'm probably not gonna switch emulators because if I do I'm gonna have to do everything all over again and I don't have time to replay to this point again. It just takes time and I don't have too much time. So I only record or play games when I can. So I hope that will be okay. And if you know there's some weird glitch like somewhere in the game and it's funny, then you'll guys enjoy it. So I don't see why I should change it honestly. But anyways, uh, we're just gonna go into this hole and see what's down here. And it's raining outside. Just great. Oh, oh no, I don't have enough. Oh no, I ran out of nuts. Oh no, I didn't plan this better. I mean, I tried to find nuts, but I couldn't find any. And these controls are just bad. Okay. I'll just fight these. It's fine. Okay. Get back here. Where'd he go? Hello? Hello? Where do you go? Ah! Oh. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it's so bad. I literally got hit by, hit by keys. Ah, whatever. Okay, so today is a little bit of a slower episode because we're trying to collect a few... Oh god, I don't like these things. Oh, I don't like these things. They give me the creeps. Oh, scroll. Uh, bye, bye. Goodbye, sir. I don't. No, no, no. Ah, you're scaring me. Stop it. Where am I going? Okay, I don't like those redheads. Redheads freak me out. They're just so creepy. Anyways, today was a little bit of a slow episode, but it's fine. I feel like we're gonna have some of these sometime before we actually get to the actual. Um, I don't know if I need to collect any of this. Should I even be collecting this stuff? Huh. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. Okay, I did want to learn this one. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peace, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the composer brothers. Keep the sun song in your heart. Yay, sun song. Oh my gosh. I really hope you guys can hear the door slamming because that's really annoying. <laughs> I don't know, I'm back to rambling about it again. I can't help it, okay? 
Uh, and there you go. We learned the sun song and it's daylight. Oh, this is perfect. You've learned the sun song. Okay, so uh, we only did song learning and book catching. Oh, I didn't read that. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, so. Oh, maybe I shouldn't walk in there because I only have three hearts. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't. I should play this game super safe as I can. That means using my shield everywhere. Just skipping everything that I can. If I avoid, can avoid these enemies, I'll avoid them. Uh, anyway, so sorry today was a little bit of a slower episode, but sometimes we're gonna have those. Ah, get out of here. Freaking ghosts or pose or whatever you guys are called. Yeah, but we're gonna have those days where it's kind of just slow. We're just collecting stuff. Um, I don't know if I need to collect um, the Skultalas. I don't know. I'm just kind of going through the game. But I just wanted to collect those few stuff because I knew it was there. And if I don't collect it, it's going to bother me. Oh, yay. Seed. Seed. Oh, Link, stop grabbing it. I mean, but stop grabbing it. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys didn't mind my rambling too much about neighbors and stuff. But anyway, so on the next episode, we're going to continue on and hopefully get more progress done in regards to this main story. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to come back for more, do subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload. So thank you one more time and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.